Hi again. Uh, on the last uh, video, we went through our range of microphones, uh, and now I'm going to show you how to connect any one of these microphones to uh, a, a DVR uh, or NVR, uh, the case may be, or or an IP camera. Um, in this case, if we're going to connect it to a DVR, which I've already got set up, uh, I'll move this out of the way uh, so we can actually see the setup. Um, right. So. For this example, let's gonna we're just gonna choose one. Uh, let's say let's choose uh, this high quality, very high quality professional microphone. Uh, all the connectors are the same on all the microphones, so it doesn't really matter which microphone we choose. Uh, we're going to connect this using uh, a CC a microphone connector kit, what we are selling on our website, uh, and it consists of uh, two balance connectors and uh, a uh, cut five, uh, cut six, sorry, cut six cable, uh, solid copper cut six cable, uh, which comes in various lengths from five meters uh, up to uh, 75 meters in length. Uh, cable is uh, solid copper cat six, so it's a good conductor, conductor of audio um, and power without uh, any loss. Uh, uh, of uh, sound clarity, etc. Uh, so it's a very good uh, cable. You also receive uh, with with the set a 12 watt power supply uh, with with the camera connector set. You can buy this ready-made kit from uh, our website netucctv.co.uk uh, in the accessories and click on audio. Uh, and you will see it there, it's a pro audio connection kit to add a microphone uh, to an existing uh, CCTR setup. So let's just uh, go through on how to connect uh, the microphone up. Uh, so you will receive two balance, uh, the length of uh, cable that you ordered, so you can place the microphone at a distance away, wherever you want to, from the, from the actual DVI itself. Uh, so for this purpose, um, I've got uh, the camera connected. I'm just going to actually, I'm just going to switch on uh, the DVR. I don't know, I think it's already on. Let me just check. Let's power the monitor. Uh, oops. Right, so we've got uh, the camera connected. It's telling us no video, so let's see how a typical, uh, a typical DVR and camera is connected. This is using a height vision turbo HD camera because the balance we're using are turbo HD uh, balance. So currently we're, we're using, we're connecting the camera via Cat5 cable using balance, uh, which many of you will have uh, your CCTV connected via. So from the balance, we've got the video, uh, one pair uh, of the Cat6 Cat cable connected to uh, the balance that's connected to the camera there, okay? So that one is sending the video signal down the orange, I've connected the orange and white, but it actually can be any color, uh, any pair you want. And then what I've done is set the power from, uh, I've twisted two pairs together uh, for the positive, two pairs together, a uh, one pair, sorry, together, a uh, one pair for the negative, same on the other side, just got to make sure you use the same cables and the same color coding on each side. Note the plus and minus and also on the plus and minus on that side. The reason the power camera is empowering is because I see there's no power being sent up to the camera itself. There's no power there. So uh, I'm going to take uh, this, this power that uh, comes uh, with the camera uh, microphone connection kit plug that in, but you will already have a power connected to your existing CCTV microphone. Plug that in there, and hopefully we should see the camera come on. There we go. So that's powered the camera. And that's the camera there. There we go. So, so that's our existing setup. Uh, most of you will have this already uh, connected like this. Uh, or using uh, just a normal BNC uh, an RG59 uh, shotgun cable. Uh, right, so we want to add 
a microphone to this. So to add, so we're going to add well, for the first. Uh, uh, yeah, so in this instant, we want to put this uh, position this microphone near the camera, uh, somewhere near in the near uh, location. So we're going to use existing power that's uh, powering the microphone, and there's no need to use uh, the extra power supply uh, that was supplied uh, with the connection set. Uh, so, so what do we do? Right. So firstly. Uh, we're going to uh, uh, get our, uh, uh, get get the uh, connection kit, and you see uh, on um, the uh, the ends there are two red and white connectors uh, with the phono uh, connectors on the end, red and white cables. So one end we're going to plug into the DVR, and one end into the microphone to send the audio from the microphone to the DVR. The only thing we've got to be careful of is the balance come one with a female connector and one with a male connector. So if we're using the power uh, from uh, an existing power source uh, near the microphone, then we have to use the one with the female end near, uh, near the camera and use the other end with one of the male connector uh, end of the balance to the DVR. So I'm going to plug this phono connector into the audio in input on the DVR. We're not going to use this uh, for at the moment. We don't need to because we're taking the power uh, from the existing power from the camera, so we don't need to use this. We can actually send the video signal using this pattern instead of the existing one we've got. Um, there's no need for the existing one, uh, and we can just use this one. So. Um, We'll, well, we'll leave that as it is for now. Um, but if you've got a HD TVI or a CVI um, uh, camera, we can use the BNC up there. So all we need at the moment is to connect that phono cable into the back of um, the DVR. Right, on the microphone end, the camera end. So we're going to then, at the moment, we're going to the power is connecting to the camera. So we're going to unplug. The power to the camera so there you go you see the camera the part that it's gone off because the power isn't connected which is connected from the DVR uh, up to the camera itself and we're going to plug this into the red port on the microphone so that's now sending power to the microphone so remember I said uh, these but these microphones will take the power needs and push them push the power out again through the black connector so now we're going to connect the black connector up to the power input on the on the camera and uh, uh, you should see the camera start up again there we go yeah so now we've got the power connected uh, and the for the audio now you've got to connect the audio connector uh, from the balloon uh, so we're going to then uh, the other end of the balloon, one end of the balloon we connect it up to the DVR the other end of this balloon, we currently only need to use uh, the phono uh, connector there, and we're going to connect uh, 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 the red and black cable up to the white phono connector. And this will send the audio signal down this cable, down the black and red cable, along the balloon, and into the DVI itself. There's absolutely no need on this uh, for this purpose to use. Uh, these two connectors because only using the two red the red and black uh, cable to send the power yeah hopefully you can see that uh, so if you hide them there we go that's all it's using to send the audio signal yeah and we're taking the power from the nearby uh, camera like let's test to see if the audio is working so I'm going to tip my mouse and this is a hit vision uh, output uh, from a hit vision DVR, hit vision DVR, sorry, uh, connected via HDMI uh, to the monitor. Uh, that's the power to the DVR and one camera connected. And you see this is a four, four channel DVR, so it's got the four split screens. I'm going to make one of the screens big. And now if you right click, uh, oh, sorry, you just, just click near the bottom of the screen you see this little menu come up with the audio button uh, muted. 
Yeah, it's got a red uh, bar uh, across it. So I'm going to click on that bar and let's see, I'm just going to reduce the, the, quali uh, the uh, pitch. There you go. We're getting the echo because obviously the sound out from the microphone, from the speaker is going back into the microphone and creating the loop and creating the interference, but that's just for proving to me that the microphone is working. Yeah. Uh, put that closer to my uh, voice, uh, voice and it's, uh, it will get louder. louder. There we go. Just to prove that the microphone is working. So that microphone will work, uh, obviously at a distance away from uh, the receiver, uh, so you don't get the interference. So that's where you switch it on and off there. Yeah. Uh, so that's the that's how to connect the microphone to uh, a device uh, to uh, uh, um, a DVR using the power from a nearby microphone. So what happens if uh, we want to place a microphone where there's no camera nearby and there's no power supply nearby. So let's just uh, uh, put that scenario into operation. Let's unplug this again, uh, take this out, put it back to how it was. There we go. Take everything out, disconnect everything. There we go, we're back to, back to how it was before. We've just got uh, the camera, one camera connected to the DVR and no audio or anything connected. We have our microphone which we want to position uh, much further away from the camera uh, and we have no power supply nearby. Yeah. So what we're going to do is uh, take the power supply that was sent uh, with the DVR, uh, with the sorry microphone connection kit. We've got a microphone connection kit here and we also will receive a 12 watt power which I've used for this one, so I'm going to use other one for this. Uh, this one would normally be connected uh, into there, and this is the one you get with the kit. Yeah. So this is this is what uh, this is what you receive. You have to buy a microphone separately. So this is what you receive. You receive a, a, a 12 volt power supply, uh, the cable, and uh, the balance. So let's connect this microphone. So let's say somewhere over here, nowhere near the microphone. Uh, and so we now need to send power up the cable to the microphone as well. In this case, we need to um, connect the balloon with the female end uh, near the DVR. Yeah, so you, you see that? So that's the connection we're going to have to make near the DVR and put, send the power down the cable up to the microphone. So, so the balloon with the female power connector, uh, the phono cable there, we're going to connect back into the DVR itself. So you've got the phono connected uh, and the power now, we're going to plug the power supply in And near the DVR, and we're going to plug it into the power, the female power on the balloon that you receive. Yeah. Again, there's no need to use the BNC connector. It's, if you want to send uh, a, a, another, if you want to attach another camera, then you can use this if you want to. That's optional. For this purpose, we're only using the audio out, uh, audio into the uh, DVR, and the power up to uh, the microphone right on the other end we have we will have uh, the power out plus the audio to connect to the microphone have our microphone there so same as uh, previously we're going to connect the phono cable up to the audio out on the microphone there we go so that's our microphone audio connected now we need to power the microphone which is being powered on this end uh, of the balloon, which is which is which is uh, connected to the balloon, the power being sent down the Cat6 cable, down the balloon, and coming out of here, the power. So we're going to plug this into the red input uh, power uh, connector uh, on the microphone. There's no need to plug this anywhere. You can just tape it up. A bit of insulation tape. Uh, it will only draw the power it needs, the microphone, and that's all we need to do. So now 
we are locating the microphone totally somewhere some distance away from uh, from the uh, here, from the DVR or any camera and, and powering it separately. Let's check that the microphone is indeed working again. So we, we are it's uh, going back to the screen again. Remember I said click somewhere near the bottom of the screen. Bring up the menu again. Let's switch on audio. There we go. There go. There That's just testing That's and telling me the microphone is connected. And I'll click on mute again to stop the interference uh, because obviously we're, uh, we're getting the echo through back to the microphone. That's how to connect uh, a, uh, a microphone away from a power source. Everything's included that you need to do that. I just buy the right kit with the right uh, length of cable you need. Uh, right. Finally, I'm going to show you how to connect. Uh, let me just unplug this one. For now, we don't need that. Uh, so we don't need that uh, there temporarily. So let's uh, uh, imagine that this is an NVR um, and it's uh, we've got IP camera connected to it. So here we are. I have an IP camera. I hope it's an IP camera. Note that uh, IP only IP cameras with the uh, uh, S at the back of the code will have audio uh, inputs and outputs uh, block on it. So anything with S uh, after the dash. So in this example, this is the Mini Vanderdome DS dash two CD two one four two. This is a four megapixels. So it's two one four two FWD dash IS. The dash i version does not have the audio connectors you have to purchase the is or the iws the iws has the audio connectors and also is wireless w stands for wireless s stands for sound so s has the audio connectors uh, it has audio inputs and outputs and also alarm inputs and outputs so this is an alarm input and output block and this is an audio input output block I don't know whether you can actually see that. It does say it on the actual connector block itself. I try and focus it in there. Don't know whether you can see. Maybe. But what it, it uh, I can verify. It says audio uh, in ground out ground. So it's got inputs plus and minus outputs plus and minus. This is for the audio. So this is the only one we're interested in at the moment. Uh, remember the power the microphone is being the camera is being powered by a PoE which is directly into there uh, which is a separate cable from a PoE switch for example this one so that's powering the microphone up and you will see there's no extra power nearby so any mic we connect has to be powered separately so uh, so again we're using the same balance again this time the balance set we're only using uh, to send the power to uh, to the microphone now, it's the only purpose of this balance is to send power uh, to the microphones uh, so to send power to the microphone we've got our 12 watt power plugged in and on the with the female uh, part of the power supply of the of the balloon uh, we're going to plug the power in which is now sending power uh, down the power cable down our cat 6 cable uh, to the power uh, output uh, on the other balloon on the other end uh, so now we can plug this into the microphone so that's our power sorted out for the microphone uh, and that's uh, sending power uh, from this end of the balloon down our cable up to uh, the microphone. So that's our microphone power. So now we only have to connect this microphone to the audio inputs on the IP camera. How do we do that? We have a phone rack connector there and a terminal block there. So we need to join these two up. And what you need to do uh, is uh, quite simple. Um, is to connect uh, using our uh, one of these your 
unscrew from the red and black cable because we're not using that cable for this purpose. So let me just find uh, a screwdriver to unplug that. I don't know if this one will be good enough. So I'm going to unplug this one. I could actually cut, cut this off and use that cable to connect up to uh, uh, the audio inputs, audio outputs should be our uh, audio inputs on the uh, camera itself. So that we're going to now connect into our white phono connector on the microphone and that's given us the two plus and minus um, connector to terminal block uh, that we can now connect to uh, the audio input on uh, the microphone itself, on the camera itself. Uh, for this part, for the cable, for this purpose, oh here I've got one ready, I made earlier. I just use a bit of a Cat6 cable, uh, could be any cable really, a bit of copper cable um, to connect the two together. So I'm just going to nip this off and use this one. I, uh, oops, I can't, that's a male one, so I can't use that one. I have to use this one. Um, I've got one uh, made. No, nope, so I'm going to have to use this one. Uh, and I tend to use, uh, I tend to stick to uh, a standard where my solid is always, solid color is always the plus and the neg uh, the the stripe one is always the negative. So you've got to be careful. So positive to positive, shove that in. I should have had one of these ready. Apologies for that. That's all we need to do. There we go. So we've got uh, a two cables coming out. Positive is a solid brown. Negative is a uh, stripe white stripe brown. So I'm going to find out. It says audio, audio in because the microphone is actually sending the audio into into the camera. Uh, the sound is being then will be transmitted down. The audio will be transmitted down the Cat6 uh, cable that's connecting to your NVR. Uh, down the same cable, so so we're going to connect this turn our block. So positive to the in on the turn our block. I always tend to, I don't know if you can see that, but I always tend to uh, sort of bend over at the end of the cable to give a secure connection there. Can you see that there? If I put it up there, you'll see it there. There you go. Yep. So put that in there, push it right in, make sure it's securely connected. And the negative, the stripe one, the negative on the phono, the minus. The minus on the phono there will be to the G uh, on the actual camera, which is the ground. Yeah. There you go. Shove that right in, tighten it up. Tighten it up there. And that's us connected to our uh, camera. And it's powered. Uh, and that will work with my I can't show you on this screen because this screen is connected directly to HDMI up on there so and because this is on the network I have to connect this to this uh, through uh, through uh, the computer and connect to the camera all you've got to ensure is inside the menu uh, on the NVR or on the camera menu you have to enable uh, the video it changed the stream type from video only to video plus audio. Uh, once you change that to video plus audio, the audio microphone will start working. Yeah, that's all you need to do. So this can uh, you can use any one of our microphones to connect to an IP camera, and just use this one, uh, this balance to send the power uh, up to the uh, the microphone itself. Uh, and that's really all you need. You got your total power supply supplied with the balance. Uh, it's a good quality Cat6 exterior grade.
CAT6 cable that you receive, solid copper cable, so you won't have any issues uh, with power or audio. Yeah. Well, I hope you found that uh, informative, uh, and uh, um, I'll see you again soon. Any questions, uh, don't hesitate to give me a call uh, or just leave a message, uh, and I'll try and respond. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember, it's all available from netviewcctv.co.uk. Thanks for watching.